Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Ainsworth, and we're going to get into Mastery 7 here, which is all about simplifying expressions. The sine, the cosine, the tangent, and the three reciprocal functions, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. All right, so let's get on it here. So when you practice here, just practice and then grade yourself. The key's online. Everything's online for you guys. And then practice uh, multiple times until you can get at least 13 out of the 15 correct. Okay? And again... Getting good at something takes perfect practice. So practice and then grade yourself and then find your mistakes and then practice again. And then do it as many times as you need to to get 13, at least 13 out of 15 correct. All right, so here we go. All right, sine of pi thirds. Well, guess what? That's sine of 60 degrees and that's root three divided by two. All right, sine of 30 degrees. Again, this is Sokotoa stuff, opposite divided by hypotenuse and that's one half. Cosine of 45 degrees, root 2 over 2. Tangent of 5 thirds pi, this is in quadrant 4. And the reference angle is pi thirds. And quadrant 4, as you notice on the right diagram right over here, tangent is negative. So the, you need to figure out the tangent of, of pi thirds. And what is that? Well, that's 60 degrees. And if you look at the diagram up here, tangent of 60 degrees is root 3. So the answer is negative rad 3. Again, opposite divided by adjacent. Okay, towa. Tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. Okay, th th cosine of 315, that's quadrant 4. Cosine is positive there, so he, this is equivalent to cosine of 45 degrees, which is rad 2 over 2. All right, and then, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So... It's quadrant 4. There you go. Uh, here, cosine of 3 fourths pi. That's quadrant 2. Cosine is negative there. So this is a negative cosine of pi fourths. There's your reference angle. And so that's a negative rad 2 divided by 2. 7 6 pi is 1 and 1 6 pi. That's quadrant 3. All right. Sine is negative there. So this is equivalent to sine of pi 6. Sine of 30 degrees, all right, is 1 half. So we get negative 1 half here. And then secant of 5 pi fourths, secant is a reciprocal cosine, and cosine in quadrant 3 is negative. So this is negative secant of the reference angle, pi fourths. So if you know that the cosine of pi fourths is root 2 over 2, or 1 over root 2, then you reciprocate it and you get negative rad 2. Okay, so it's a reciprocal, reciprocal of cosine. Okay, again, you know that the cosine of pi force, if you don't rationalize it, is one of rad two. You reciprocate it to get rad two. All right, that was, I was just showing my thinking right there. Number nine, cotangent is reciprocal of tangent, and one, uh, 11 pi six is in quadrant four. One and five six pi is definitely quadrant four. And if tangent's negative there, then guess what? Cotangent is two, because the reciprocal of a negative is a negative. So here we get the, we have to think, what is the negative cotangent of the reference angle pi sixth, which is 30 degrees? Okay, and so if I know what the tangent of pi six is, which again is 30 degrees, looking at the triangle, tangent of 30 degrees is one over root three, all right? And then you reciprocate it, and then you get negative rad three here. So you figure out what the tangent is and just reciprocate it in your head. That's what you do. Cosecant is a reciprocal of sine, so I need to be thinking sine here, and this is quadrant four. Sine's negative there, so I need to figure out what is the negative cosecant of 60 degrees, which is your reference angle. So on the triangle up there, I know that the sine of 60 degrees is rad three over two. Then you reciprocate it, so you get negative two over rad three, and if you rationalize that, you get negative two root three over three. Okay. Next one, cosecant of 2 thirds pi, that's quadrant 2. Uh, cosecant, sine's positive there, so that means cosecant's positive there. Reference angle is pi thirds, or 60 degrees. And as I just said, the uh, I said it was sine of 60 degrees is rad 3 over 2. Reciprocate it, same thing, but it's positive this time. All right, and you get negative, or excuse me, positive 2 root 3 over 3. Tangent of 135 degrees, that's in quadrant 2. Tangent's negative there, so we need to be thinking neg negative tan of 45. And so 45 degrees, tangent of 45 degrees is on the 45, 45, 90. So you get 1 divided by 1, which is 1, but it's negative because you're in quadrant 2. 
150 degrees is in quadrant two, so this is a negative number. So it's cosine of 30 degrees. And then if you look at your special right triangle up there, that's right three over two, but it's negative. And then uh, sine up seven pi fourths divided by four, that's quadrant four. <clears throat> quadrant four is sine's negative there, so you gotta take uh, negative sine of pi fourths, which is your reference angle. And so you get negative rad two over two. And then cosine is 11, 6 pi, that's quadrant four again, and it's positive there. So all you have to do is figure out the cosine of pi six or 30 degrees, and that's rad three over two. And there you go. That's it, all right? You gotta practice, perfect practice uh, makes perfect. So make sure you, when you practice, you grade yourself and you time yourself, and you will get better over time. You will get better and you will get faster, all right? And the better your practice is, and the more you practice, uh, you're, I can just see it in class, okay? And so I can't wait to see you guys, all right? See you perform, so make yourself proud. Perfect practice makes perfect.